A couple of weeks ago, we looked at directly connecting to Postgres from our Edge functions. And this is something that's very neat with uh, Dino and Dino Deploy, that we can actually make direct connections to Postgres, which normally doesn't work from you know all edge function environments so if we quickly recap we were using um dino postgres to connect to our postgres um, database open uh, a pool here actually when we're working in edge functions we should probably only um instantiate one connection otherwise um you know, a lot of edge functions will create many other connections. Uh, we don't want that. So one connection per edge function here. And then now obviously, um, when we're doing our result here, our result is um, not typed, which obviously isn't so great. And so this is where we can enter Kaisley. Now Kaisley is a type safe and auto completion friendly TypeScript SQL query builder. Um, if you've worked with Next before, it's inspired by that, but it is developed for Node.js, but also you can run it in Dino and in the browser. And so let's actually look at how we can do this with Dino. So we can look at this here. Um, we can do um, import Kaiserly and basically what we, we can get most of this um, from uh, kind of Kaisley itself, kind of all these adapters. So we don't really um, need kind of a specific uh, third party dialect or anything. All we need is we need to um, implement a driver that can basically uh, make the connection to Postgres. And so we'll just need to create this mapping between um, Dino Postgres and um, kind of the Kaisley driver. So um, maybe let's go ahead and let's do the following. Um, let's just create a new um, edge function, superbase functions new, and we'll say Kaiserly hyphen Postgres. Here we go. Uh, and so now we have um, a new function here. And in a first step, let's just go and copy um, over our Postgres side of things. So um, database URL kind of uh, Postgres pool. Um, and then here we'll add in our um, Kaisley. So let's actually um, copy this rather uh, than using uh, JS deliver, I uh, like to use esm.sh. So we'll can just say um, esm, esm.sh and the name uh, of the library. And then what we can do is um, just fix that and go to um, the specific uh, version to make sure that it doesn't break in the future. Um, now we can create uh, an interface here uh, and that interface then is uh, what is being used for um, typing our database queries. So let's go ahead and um, do that. Uh, we don't need uh, yeah, oh, no, we'll, we'll need that later as well. So let's create our interfaces here. And then here we'll do um, Kaiserly um, this part. So here. And the only thing is, uh, so we'll need to um, implement our driver. Specifically here, actually, let's um, change that. We'll use our edgy edge functions project. And specifically here we have um, a table called animals. And um, we'll have, we have an ID, which is actually uh, a big end. We have a timestamp that is a date. And then we'll have an animal that is a text. So let's say um, this is animal um, 
do we call it? I think animals because our table is called that or we can uh, yeah then ID is uh, generated big end then we have the um, created edge uh, or we'll just do animal first that's a string and then we'll have created underscore edge and that is of type date Great, and then database interface, we have animals and they are of type uh, uh, animal, I believe. Yeah, that should, that should be correct. Running our function, we can now um, make a query. So let's actually say const animals equals, so we'll say db select from, and this is the nice thing here. Now we have um, our auto completion. So we'll know we have our table animals and then we want to select our, and so now we can have um, kind of all our different things here. We can specify an array. So let's say we want the ID, we want the animal, and then also we want the um, created edge. And then I believe we can say uh, execute, execute, is that the, yeah, execute. And so this will then actually give us, um, uh, I think we need to probably await that, yes. And so now we have our animals, um, which will be an array. So let's say we access the first animal and so now um, we get kind of all the whole type uh, completion and actually what is nice we have this as uh, type date so we can then say you know say get full year for example um, and it will work it will have uh, it will actually be a date so Kaiserly kind of takes takes care of that um, internally uh, and then again when we stringify this we need to make sure um, we turn the big int into a string because otherwise um, json.stringify will complain. Okay, and so now lastly, we'll need our um, Kaiserly driver. And this is actually where um, this guy here came in handy, Bart. Um, he has a neat gist of the um, Postgres driver we can use for Kaiserly. So let's actually create a new um, new file. Let's call it Dino Postgres driver dot TS. And then we can just copy all of this over. Um, and what you can see, uh, let's actually use uh, ESM dot SH here uh, as well. Let me just do, do, do here. Copy that and then we can go Dino Postgres. Okay, so we'll just take um, all this here, replace that with our ESM dot as age, quick fix, cache that. Oh, actually, no, this is. Oh, wait. So this is just the main import and then the other ones. Okay, so yeah, basically it's just implementing um, the correct uh, Postgres dialect config. Um, here it's using a pool from uh, Dino Postgres. So that makes sure that it works with Dino. Um, it is creating the pool, uh, doing the connection and kind of all of that that's required. And so basically what we can do now is in here, um, we can import the um, Postgres driver from, oh, we'll need from um, Dino Postgres driver, the Postgres driver. And then um, rather than the dummy driver, we'll use the Postgres driver here and then um, we can put in our pool uh, pool where are we we 
don't need the dummy driver anymore. And here, this should be our pool. What is it saying? Um, uh, we have a mismatch between um, the versions here. So uh, let's make sure. Um, so this is uh, the Postgres version here in our import map. So Dino, um, where do we have it? Postgres here. Let's update that to 17. Uh, zero. And then now I believe uh, that should be resolved. So that that way we're making sure that we have uh, the right types. We'll add that um, to our import map as well. Let's do that. So um, there's a video on import maps. Um, also, we'll just do Kaiserly. And so now um, this will actually suggest us to Yep, there we are. Okay, Postgres. So now that is all up and running. Lovely. And so now what we can do is we can serve our function. Um, we get our database URL. So we can say superbase functions uh, serve. And we'll want to serve the Kaiserly hyphen Postgres. And we want um, no verify JWT. And we want our dot env file, uh, which is at superbase, uh, superbase slash env, I believe. Let's try that. And so now we're starting up um, Kaisley Postgres. Um, okay, we're up and running. Now the thing is we have um, no TLS um, certificate, and we're defaulting to a non um, encrypted connection. So let's try this one out first. And then we can uh, Ah, so here we have it. Uh, and actually, what you can see now is we're getting the console log of our um, date here. So this one uh, working beautifully uh, as it should. And we're getting all our um, animals. Uh, and so now if we were to say, uh, let's remove um, the ID. Um, and we reload this. There we go. So now uh, we obviously have the types and also quite quite nice here. So if we were to remove this, we now see, okay, our return type animal doesn't actually have um, created at doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and Kaiserly uh, complains about it, which is really, really quite neat. Um, now, obviously, uh, Superbase JS has uh, a bunch of uh, typing a built in as well, you can generate your types from your database. But you know, obviously, if you prefer working with something like Kaiserly, um, you can do that. Now, um, you will need to use Kaiserly on uh, a, a secure server side environment, something like edge functions, or, um, you know, your standard kind of Backend, Express, Fastify, API, what have you. Um, so that is where you can use that. Um, maybe as a quick bonus, uh, let's actually look at uh, providing our certificate. And you know, right now we're, we don't have any certificate and making um, that actually secure. So when we create our pool, um, we can do, uh, we can either provide this connection string, or we can provide some uh, client options. So uh, what we can do is, instead of the database URL, we provide our options. So we can do um, our host name. And um, we will 
find that in our Superbase uh, dashboard. So when we go to the project settings, we can go to database and we can find our host here. Um, so that is this part. Then we can have our um, database. Our database is just called um, Postgres in that case. Um, we have our port is for um, 5432. And then our user is also Postgres. So um, let's do user is also uh, Postgres. Our port is uh, this 5432. And then um, we do need our password as well. Uh, and so we'll get that from the dino.env.get. Um, and so we'll need to uh, add that to our um, dot env file database password uh, and so lastly what we'll need to do um, as well uh, we're still getting this um, you know certificate but so what we can do now is we can provide the um, TLS options and we can provide a CA certificates array so that's an array of strings that we need to provide and what we can do is actually we can uh, add this to our env as well env.get and let's call this database search um, and we need to you know there, this needs to be a string. So database search. So we'll need to add two new environment variables um, here. Uh, database search uh, currently not a string uh, because we haven't provided it yet. So um, where can we get our database certificate? So this is also here in um, the database in the settings database. We can get our SSL certificate. We can download um, the certificate and then we can actually um, open our certificate and we just copy out the text from the certificate into our um, .env file. So I've done that um, now uh, and I've called it uh, DB SSL search. And now let me give that a save. And so now you can see um, we're not getting our TSL connection uh, error anymore. Um, so we're getting the certificate correctly. And now if we go back and reload, nothing changes because um, that, you know, is uh, working as expected. But so now let's just make sure we'll add the um, ID back in, give that a save. And so now if we're, uh, we just need to wait for it to quickly reload. And now you can see we get our animal name, created edge and our ID. Um, there we have it. This is how you can use Kaisley on the edge together with Dino Postgres. Uh, actually really, really neat developer experience if you want to directly access the database uh, in a type safe way, you know, using something like Kaiserly is a great way to do that. Now, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.